Well, it's been a bit of a late upload, or more like a very late upload, but finally I'm getting around to doing my video on this Ergel Bridge Vida playset, or components of it, and this came with a big bundle of Ergels that I purchased from the UK last year, and I had hoped to get a video done about this before 2019 was out, but unfortunately due to technical issues that didn't happen. So anyways, I'm finally going to get around to doing it now. Now, as I mentioned before, I got all this in amongst a big bundle of Ertles that I got off eBay from the UK. And I did do a video on that, which if you haven't seen it or you don't remember it, I'll leave a link so you can head over there, check that out, get a recap, and then come back here. But one thing I will say about this set is that it was not available to the U.S. market because after 2001, Ertle discontinued their Thomas & Friends line outside the UK market. And that makes this set a hard one to come by. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is trying to determine what all I have here because I know for a fact I do not have a complete set. And I'm going to be seeing what I do have, what I don't have, and then trying to figure out whether or not I can acquire said missing pieces in time. But just from looking here I can see I do have the bridge viaduct which I think is a really hard piece to come by for this set so that's good. I got eight curves, I've got two right hand switches, one straight piece of track, I've got one old coach, and one Thomas. So next thing I'm going to do is reference the contents list that would go with this set and see what all I'm missing off that list. Now because the pieces I got to the set didn't come with the box, I had to resort to going online to try to see if I could find some photos and information on this set. And thankfully I was able to come across this photo right here which shows the back of the box with the contents list. And we'll go ahead and zoom in on that a little closer and take a look. Alright, so looking at the contents section of the box here, we get a list of what's all included in the set. And I will say right now it's not the best quality image, it's a little hard to read, but I gotta try to make do with what I have. And I can see here it looks like either 13 or 15 piece railway set, one Sodor Viaduct bridge, one rail crossing, two traffic lights, one level crossing, two signals, one Thomas, one fat controller's car, and one old coach. Now, to be honest with you, this list has me a little confused. For example here, they're saying whatever 13 or 15 piece railway set. Does that mean 13 pieces as in the whole set or 13 pieces of track? I mean, that's not really uh, telling me anything. And also here, one rail crossing, one level crossing. Well, wouldn't those basically be the same thing? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out these when I start uh, assembling the set, which is going to be the next thing. So with the contents list being a bit vague, I'm going to attempt to build the set using this photo here as a reference, and hopefully that'll help me to assemble things and determine what all I'm missing. But... I'm going to go ahead and start building now, and I may have to move off the workbench because I don't think i got enough room here to build the set entirely. Alright, so this is how much of the set I was able to assemble at this time, and it's pretty evident that I'm missing a few components from it, the most obvious being track. And one thing I wanted to mention was that the straight and the curve that go under this bridge here, I misplaced those pieces, but they did come with this set, and unfortunately I just only recently found them under my workbench, but that is a good thing because I'm a little further ahead with this set than I thought I was. But in terms of what's missing, I can see the level crossing at the back here is missing. Based off the artwork on the box, I'm thinking there should be a straight right here going into a curve, which then goes into a switch. Now, I do have a switch here, but it's a right-hand switch, and this set requires a left-hand switch. So I'm not even sure that uh, the switch I got right now came in this set. But I'm also missing some traffic lights and some signals and along with Thomas and the old coach here there should also be a fat controller or Sir Topham Hatt's car so I'm gonna have to go through what I have in my Ertl collection and see if I got enough components to make up a full set here. 
So we're back on the bench again, and I've got this box of Ertl accessories, and I know I have some extras in here, but I want to see if I can locate some traffic lights and signals, and it looks like that'll work for a traffic light. There's another one, set those aside, and need some signals. There's a red one right there, actually right oops. It's got a yellow... There we go. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Aside from signals, I also need to locate some track, and believe me, I am not at a shortage of this stuff. I got a whole box here full of this, and I gotta see, pick through here, and find what all track that I need. So, I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, so I did manage to find the track pieces that I was looking for, and yes, I know this is not the newer style of track, but it's only gonna be temporary, and it'll do for the time being. But I've got the level crossing here with the gates. I've got the left-handed switch track. I've got the piece of curved track, the piece of straight track, as well as the two signals and the two traffic lights that I found earlier. And the only thing I'm missing now is the fat controller or Sir Topham Hat's car. But since I happen to have an extra of these lying around, I'll go ahead and add that to this bundle of components and go ahead and start incorporating all this into the set. Well, this is the set fully assembled, and as you can see, it's just two loops which cross over each other. And I gotta say, personally, I think this is a nice little set. Yes, it doesn't look as good as it could, being that I've got the mix-matched track, but, I mean, overall, the circuits are complete, and you can run some trains on it now. Now, I have to admit that although I really do like this set, there are a few nagging issues I have with it. Mainly the choices that Ertl made, because to start off with, the characters included. Now, there's nothing wrong with having Thomas in this set, but what bothers me is the single old coach we get. Because in the series, the old coaches were usually seen in trains that were about two to three coaches long. And even when Ertl was selling the old coaches, they were sold in packs of two. So the fact we just get one in this set doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So, I think it would have been a good idea for Ertl to include a second old coach, or better yet, just get rid of the old coaches entirely, and instead include Annie and Clarabelle to go along with Thomas. But, in addition to that, on the box, they actually show Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle, and Percy with an old coach. And I think that's something this set needed, was for another engine character like Percy to be included with the old coaches, and then you'd have Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle, or better yet, you know, Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle, and maybe some other engine characters. But I feel like a second train was something this set needed. And also, considering we got the Fat Controller's car, I think it would have been a good idea to include the Fat Controller in this set as well. But another issue I have with this set goes back to the box artwork, because... Ertl presents the set on the box as being more than what it is. And I feel like that's Ertl saying, well, we can't advertise this set as it comes. We got to, you know, throw in some other engines and such to make it look better. And I remember it was the user Thomas Wooden Railway. He was doing a review on a wooden railway set, a couple of them actually. And he even complained about Mattel. They'll advertise wooden railway sets with the box artwork showing more than what's actually included in the set. And unfortunately, it's false advertising, and I feel like there was a bit of that going on with this Ertl set. And, I mean, I don't agree with that decision. But, I mean, overall, it's not a bad set as it sits, but it could have been better. So, after all that, I've got somewhat of a complete Sodor Viaduct Bridge play set. And the signals as well as the traffic lights these are extras I had so they'll stay with this set same with this extra fat controllers car although these track pieces that were missing these are out of other Ertl sets I have so I'm gonna have to track down replacements for these so I have track that matches this stuff and that's gonna mean going back to eBay trying to find a bundle of this stuff from a UK seller but that's not gonna be too difficult because the main thing that's hard to come by is the bridge and I'm really happy that I have that, but yeah, so there's going to be some pieces I still got to track down for this, 
but the nice thing is a majority of it's already here. Some of you may be wondering what I was going to do with this extra switch that was in this set. And honestly, I'm just going to throw it in with the rest of the Ertl track I have and save it for a rainy day. So that wraps up my analysis of this set. I had honestly hoped to have had this video out months ago, but unfortunately the unforeseen just prevented that from happening. But better late than never, I guess. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.